I'm Erin Skipper and I'm here with my friend Dimitri, um, also known as Life Script Doctor or Life Script Doc on Instagram. And um, I wanted to share some experiences that I had um, doing a workshop with Dimitri a few weeks ago. So I didn't, um, I didn't have any plans for the weekend and I was looking on Instagram and I saw an ad and it just said Aura Vision and I looked, I clicked through and it was starting the next morning and it was um, talking about Ukrainian spa's system and how to deal with energy and shield yourself because I am a very highly sensitive person living in the city or traveling. Sometimes I get very overwhelmed. So that really appealed to me. But then it also said something about the Kazakhs and um, Jedi Knights. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yes. this, I have to do this workshop. The force is calling you. <laughs> exactly. So that um, that definitely appealed. I reached out to Dimitri and said, hey, it was 10 o'clock at night on a Friday. I was like, hey, can I come to your workshop tomorrow morning? And, and it happened. So um, that was in Sintra, Portugal. And he's doing another workshop there in Sintra and some stuff in Lisbon soon so I wanted to um, to talk with you Dimitri if you could just explain a little bit because I was unfamiliar with the Ukrainian spas system if you could just talk about what that is uh, yeah well first hi uh, everyone and uh, yeah spas um, okay I'll, I'll see if I can make it a short introduction what spas is about well the word spas is s-p-a-s -S, nothing to do with spas as in like a water uh, healing uh, treatments that you can get. Uh, it, the root of it comes from the Slavic word uh, spasat, which means to save. And so spas has this uh, idea of, or the system, the tradition that holds f f from ancient times. Some people believe that spas was the name of the ancient magician who took the uh, tribes from the dark forest into the lush, uh, prosperous uh, fields. Uh, to the sun, some again con con uh, connected to the uh, to the meaning of the to save because it kind of through spas you are saved from this kind of rigid reality from our matrix matrix because in spas you begin to see world as it is you begin to see people as they are like their inner world uh, that's where the let's say the first level comes in is the aura vision because you, you start to see energy. And when it comes to seeing the energy, it's people need to really understand two things, especially when it comes to seeing other people's energy. In order to see somebody else, you need to open up yourself. And uh, that's, a, that's a lot of times for people is very difficult uh, because you know, we need to work through our own shit. By the way, can we use the words? <laughs> like Absolutely. And other words? Say whatever the fuck you want. Okay, great. <laughs> great. I'm, I'm on the right channel there. And um, so... You have to open up yourself and then by doing that you're kind of inviting the other person to also open up and then you can see their uh, their truth about them their reality what they are going through or uh, what they're dealing with right now that's kind of a very simple way uh, to go with our vision while actually talking about our vision there's one several things I do want to address because I do find there's a lot of stuff on the internet that actually can harm a lot of people when they uh, go in like first online or vision courses. I mean like really I mean Yeah, you can get some exercises you can get some tools for sure the theory for, But you need practice and that's kind of also the thing about spas. It's more about practical stuff It's always practical approach. So we have this like how can we use it in practice as one of the stories I often use is uh, you know during the space race between the Soviets and uh, NASA and United States they figure out that they're they're they can't have a pen that will ride in space because of the liquid and vacuum will not will just float so allegedly I mean there were many debunks of this story but still I like the story itself uh, NASA spent like two million dollars to create this pen that will ride in space and Soviets began to use the pencil and so with this story like let's say where I'm coming from from Ukraine uh, we use a lot like everything has to be perhaps has to have its practical aspects because everything is energy and so how can we use these uh, how do we live uh, in this world in a harmonious way that's why I also see a lot of things in the West when a lot of workshops a lot of courses are still trying to prove to people like look look the energy is real look this is how it was like look there's this and this and this like we I think at one point we just like all right guys let's just accept that that's what it is and then let's see how it works in practice and I think that's why like uh, 
but there's a lot of more practical things as Aaron was mentioning you know there's like how to shield yourself how to clear energy how to do it in a more effective way uh, so you can get like the same results as going to a ceremony somewhere up in the mountains where you can just do it from home in one hour or even less depending on uh, how practical things you are but still coming back to spas uh, so the main um, uh, the history behind spas as was mentioned the Cossacks and the Jedi Knights uh in the history of ukraine there were these freedom fighters called cossacks and among them there were cossacks charakterniki which uh allegedly again had the the magic powers they could control the weather heal any sickness predict the outcomes of any battle you could not kill them with any uh regular bullet or sword uh, and there's played mind tricks on the enemies turn into animals and so many other again what we think to be very magical and supernatural abilities but a lot of them actually are recording the history as well and so the spas tradition is what is the is the knowledge and the science uh, behind their mystical or magical abilities and this knowledge has been kept in secret uh, was only passed down in the from a family in the family members and only i guess now it's like 22 years ago uh, it started to open up to the public and um, as of now I'm actually the, the the only person who got approved well not approved but uh, got a permission to share this knowledge outside of Ukraine in an English language as well and uh, there's lots of knowledge and lots of practical things as I already mentioned the first level is learning how to see energy because that's like the, the basics of energy work you have to because if you want to influence something you need to first to see it and understand how it works and then you will be able to like really work with it uh, well and i i yeah. like um just a, a point from from the workshop and i'm really clear sentient so i often feel things or clear audience and i hear things and i think that that like to see energy can take shape in you know many different ways because we can we can perceive it right like exactly. so to, to see it might mean to feel it or just to sense it without actually visually seeing it but i also wanted to strengthen my visual abilities which is what one of the things that drew me to the workshop and i really like how um just the language like this is real and the language of like i can you know i can do this so it, it really um, like you, you know, you give a lot of tools to strengthen the competence and, and abilities in a really natural way. Cool. Well, that's, that's, that's the, again, that's the magic of it because you, you know, if, uh, one of the motives of the schools actually, I know I can, I'm doing it. Like if you know that energy is real, right? Like otherwise actually, I don't think you will be watching this video anyway. Uh, and if you are now, you know as well. <laughs> uh so when you know that these things are real you 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 see in these uh you know in the history in whatever in documentaries and all this stuff uh then you need to work with i can because the fact is everybody sees energy one way or the other and as aaron was mentioning it's like it's all a natural ability and it, also the other thing if you expect to see just as you can see on the pictures online of like aura pictures like it's not exactly like that because like that's just the imprint of a certain point in time aura energy is alive so it's a, it's a living organism in a way and it's it's a bit it's a bit more complicated than just having a certain picture that you can see uh, in various uh, things various sources um, so so yeah that's so that's the first the, the first part is like learning how to see energy and yes you can hear it you can feel it and you're seeing your vision is only one of the one of the ways to do it and so you kind of you can literally it's nice to train all of them uh, so you're more balanced in a way and you can kind of have confirmations okay you heard something okay i just i personally always need confirmations at least three because again there's like a law of three presentations so if somebody the law of three presentations if somebody's flowing your way uh you have a chance to refuse it for uh, three times like if you refuse it for the third time it will be final refusal uh, so the idea is the law says don't reject something that is flowing your way for more than three times because it could lead to something that is will be yours and it's good 
but also does try to hold on to something that is trying to uh, go away from you for more than three times. Again, it's a case by case uh, situation, but the general rule is like there's this uh, three. So, so if I see something, if I feel something about one person, I often need confirmation, and that's what allows if you if you see, if you hear, if you feel. That's it. Three confirmations. See ya. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> uh, but because uh, because you might hear something that is not like let's say off about this person, but others other senses are telling you, look, there's some good, and you can work with it. So there's again case by case basis so yeah first level uh seeing but also involves energy clearing practices energy boosting why because you do literally need energy to able to see energy and you need to take it from somewhere and we live in, in the world unfortunately that is really lacking energy and we kind of lost the ways uh, to replenish ourselves uh, much quicker and faster. What are some of the ways we can replenish energy? Like I, I meditate twice a day. I do energy work and I do a lot of visualization as well where I'm, I'm like, there's a lot of light and energy exercises that I um, that I do. What are your ways that you suggest mm, that? Well, I don't meditate on a daily basis. Um, <laughs> The like easiest, I mean, there again, there are sort of exercises that you can do, which I shared during the workshop that are very helpful to, uh, let's say, build up your energy immune system and build up your energy mass so that it's it's much stronger. Or as one of my friends uh, says, well, you have a, such a strong fuck off field, but that's kind of uh, <laughs> can be perceived by some people as a fuck off field. But the reality is really not. It's just you being uh, in your own truth, in your own uh, element. Uh, one thing for sure, daily walks. Just one hour a day, just go for a walk, preferably in the forest or somewhere in nature if you can. For those guys who live in the city, park. I mean, you can find some places if you really want to, but that's kind of important. Or even in the city, because like if you get into urban stuff, always reminds me of, uh, uh, what's the name of that film? Uh, it was Robin Williams there as well. Um, about this little boy who like a genius about music and stuff and he goes to the city and he starts hearing the city uh, anyway it will be in know. subtitles somewhere because I, 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 <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will I will look it up I'll find it yeah uh, it will come so yeah all, also in the city you can feel the, the the spirit of the city as well and kind of tune into that but spend more outside of your thoughts and just it's nice to, to get outside and uh now it's here in portugal it's great you know because ocean is very close so you know you can always go well not always but if you live by the ocean you can always uh go outside and have that walk um so yeah what else to replenish your energy well the thing is about replenishing your energy there's a good uh, th uh, uh not an idea but uh, concept i think it was chekhov who said that it is clean in the house not in the house where everybody cleans but it's clean in the house where not many people are just throwing trash around which means yes you can find all these ways to replenish your energy quickly but if you're still hanging out with people who are like putting you down on the negative stuff and they feel life as like a negative side well you will be pouring water into a bucket full of holes so even before learning how to replenish your energy, the idea is like to actually stop and to do a little audit uh, of the people who are you with. And even if it's your relatives and things like this, well, then you'll just might want to uh, put doses on how long you spend certain time with relatives. As uh, one of the things that I say is uh, uh, the love towards our relatives is measured in the distance. Uh, and of course we love them, but sometimes it's like too much of it, it will harm you as well. So it's like, what do they say? You think you're enlightened until you go spend a week with your family? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah, exactly, exactly. So, but it's not again, it's not, it's not like, it's not somebody's fault. It's not their fault or your fault. It's just understanding that there's energy. And also when you have interaction with your family, uh, do it consciously. Don't wait until they are like hungry and need your attention when you are abundant of energy make them a call call your mom call your dad like even if you haven't spoken for, for ages doesn't matter uh because when you call then you say oh sorry i gotta go because when it kind of uh, <laughs> when they're the one calling you're like okay 
I have to listen to all that that they're saying. And they usually call maybe when you're not on the, your best <coughs> energy level. So when you are on that energy level, when you feel abundant, share that abundance. Stop sharing the uh, the things that are in the way. So yeah, where we are. Uh, second level, yeah, go back to spas. Uh, well, actually, before going to the second level, uh, I did mention there's some stuff online about auras uh, that a lot of times can be harmful. One thing, um, there are exercises that are shared online when you train how to see your aura while you're looking at yourself in the mirror. Not a good idea. Just say. I mean, you can tell. I mean, you can look. You're free to do whatever you want. But I'm just saying that maybe not the best idea, especially if you do it at night with uh, uh, lights out not the best idea why in short mirrors are uh, portals let's say to different world different dimensions and uh, here's just about the mirrors one thing to to ponder or meditate on we actually don't know who is real as in like are we the reflection or they are the reflection so just something to <laughs> to meditate on so uh, the mirrors itself, it's a huge topic and it's used in, in magic occult practices. Are you saying we might be a simulation? <laughs> uh, no, I don't <laughs> Well, there you go. Uh, we don't know. <laughs> but even if we are, we might as well enjoy it to the, to the, to the best uh, of it. Um, what else? Then, yeah, also there's other... In some schools they say that there's only human aura and that's it. There's nothing more. Well... In my experience, in my practice, is actually there is more. There is there are more shells. There is because we are a living organism, and there is we are represented on all the levels of higher consciousness, and it depends on let's say how high you want to go. So there is that. Um, so level two, level two of spas. That's more about connecting to the power of elements, uh, not just the uh, let's say like feeling the fire well it actually like feeling the essence the energy what they bring what are they stand for and you kind of feel it with you really learn how to sense it uh, how to channel it how to balance it in your own system so that you can also use it to heal others uh, because in spas healing happens through the elements the elements are the building blocks of our reality so when you when you are balanced then you're healthy I'll give you an example a lot of people are talking about like the need to ground yourself right so the way i see it is like when you flew high somewhere and then you need to ground yourself somewhere here well all you're doing is just you're stretching your energy so you're making this anchor in a way in, in this point in time and space but your attention is still here so you kind of like so when you're like let's say you flew too high somewhere and then you need to ground yourself so you're kind of stretching yourself all over the place the difference is like you just balance yourself with all the elements so you kind of create this uh your own universe in through these elements through understanding how they work through how they feel and there's again exercises initiations of how you can do it during workshops and the third level and actually with each level you get sort of upgrades to each of the exercises and the third level there's also kinds of many many different things but the main one of the main things during for the third level is connecting to your ancestry line because uh, from my practice and from my observation let's say your ancestry line is most likely the the toughest uh, defense system that you can get because they uh, let's say people go for spiritual guides and things which is great and they can provide a lot of valuable knowledge and information uh, your ancestry though can provide you the real energy because they know the experience because a lot of let's say higher beings they haven't had an earth experience or they just also know it through certain understanding of it but they never really went through it well your ancestors did and a lot of them are already out there uh, let's say they reached the highest uh, realms and they're the ones that can really really help you because they understand what are you going through you know like because they had these uh, experiences so that's in the very so kind of that's actually completes the basic training of spas uh, because then it just comes about it's all about practice it's all about building up your own new your own skill set your own things that you know how uh, we've already we will know you have all the tools to build it so that's in the very short uh, <laughs> the description of what spas is about and they're just one of the uh, traditions uh, 
schools that I went to and I, I share this knowledge with the other tools that I work with is also numerology, also uh, magic symbols like runes and glyphs and other alphabets, which I find like graphic magic in general to be one of the most powerful tools as of today. So yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's a short introduction. Awesome, thank you. Um, so right now it's March 2023, and I know you have tools online that people can access and then also in-person workshops coming up. So what are some of the things that people could do anytime to um, gain some of this knowledge? Uh, anytime, you can, you're welcome to visit uh, LiveScriptDoctor.com uh, website or LiveScriptDoc on Instagram, which actually I just have like three posts there on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the, the idea is it's, it's to have some more uh, there's also a YouTube channel and on the website you can already find a lot of articles techniques uh, there's actually also like a free webinar there uh, very practical stuff that you can like very basic well uh, see how it is uh, uh, basic magic <laughs> basic yeah, sorcery it's just, it's just basic it's just basic <laughs> magic basic sorcery like very basic stuff but like <laughs> um and you can already find lots of information there for free. Uh, more advanced uh, things, you know, I do online one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions or guiding or guidance, uh, let's say coaching in a way, um, in different different ways. There's also, I'm relaunching uh, Envision uh, Your Life Script uh, online course, which is based on the magical or mystical temple of fulfilling wishes in Myanmar, former Burma. Um, uh, if you heard of Bagan, for example, it's, a, it's an amazing place there. And there is a, let's say, energetic structure that allows you to fulfill your true wishes. And uh, the course is inspired by it and has four parts in it. So it's either a one month course or a two month course of your choice, how quickly you want to go through it, which involves uh, some theory. Uh, through videos and then you have sort of instructions of you have sort of audios uh, for meditations uh, you have some also like some graphic magic uh, or staves as I call them um, or it's called in general that you can that enhances your meditation practices so you can reach very you know the results that you're looking for in a quicker and a more powerful way um, so yeah that's uh, in, in in very short again and there's more more things are coming because uh, it's uh, planning to, to do more uh, in-person workshops right now in Portugal, possibly in Scandinavia, in like Finland, Sweden, Norway, uh, maybe coming back also to do uh, like another round in Germany, in Netherlands. Also looking for people who are interested to help organize these workshops uh, pretty much all over the world as well. So uh, if something resonates with you, uh, welcome to reach out. I'll send you more information and you can have an intro call to discuss possible co-creation. Yeah.